Hey folks, welcome back to the channel, Pop Retro. It's Pop Retro One on social media, Instagram and Twitter, facebook.com slash Pop Retro One. That's where you can find me. TV reviews at drunktv.net. Uh, if you want to check out some written reviews, you can go over there and check that out. So, wanted to pop on today and share with you a new recent release from the good folks at Film Chest Media. They have brought back a couple of uh, TV series over the years on physical media, on DVD. And uh, this time, it is the 1997-98 revival of Mike Hammer, starring Stacey Keach. And uh, this is the package right here. I'm going to uh, unshrink wrap here uh, in just a moment. Now, Mike Hammer, he's a uh, hard-boiled detective character um, from uh, in novels, from novels written by Mickey Spillane beginning uh, in the 1940s. Now, um, there were four uh, Mike Hammer movies um, throughout the 50s and 60s, um, and then a 1958 series that starred uh, Darren McGavin, who you probably know as Kolchak the Night Stalker. Now, there was a TV movie in 1981 starring Kevin Dobson, who uh, I know uh, most prominently as uh, a character in Knott's Landing throughout the 80s. Um, and then in 1982, uh, a movie uh, starring Armand Asante called uh, Eye of the Jury, which was a Mike Hammer uh, film. And uh, that's actually uh, on Blu-ray um, from Kino Lorber, which I believe is still available if anybody is interested in that. So that was in 1982. And then finally, in 1983, it was a, a TV movie uh, that was Stacey Keach's first portrayal um, in the TV movie Murder Me, Murder You. And then in 1984, the next year, they did another TV movie called More Than Murder. And that is what led to the Stacey Keats starring uh, Mike Hammer TV series. Um, and uh, it kicked off, I mean, gosh, I was eight, eight years old in 1984. Um, I remember it because it was so stylish and um, it was set in the 80s. But it was obviously a love letter to the, the golden age of film noir of the past, um, which was really new to me. And um, you could tell that the show, despite being set in the 80s, was really um, paying homage to the 1940s um, and that, e that era of film noir. You could just tell it was like a throwback, um, that something was going on there. Um, the show had a really interesting um, history it just kind of came in fits and starts. There was, uh, 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 Keach had a, a personal issue that caused uh, the show to basically end after a season and a half and then um, come back to life a year later. And all in all, there was, I don't know, there were over 50 episodes between uh, 1984 and 1987. So it ended, essentially the series ended in 1987. Then... In 1989, another TV movie called Murder Takes All uh, came out, also starring Stacey Keach. So Stacey Keach, except for that 1981 and 82, um, those movies uh, during those years, Stacey Keach was my camera. And if you grew up in that era, like I did, that was my first um, exposure to, to the Mike Hammer character uh, uh, from the 80s. So was, when I whenever I hear my camera or think of my camera, it's Stacy Keach that just automatically comes to mind. Now, before we got to the revival in 1997 of the eighties TV show of my camera, there was one more uh, TV movie and it was called come die with me. And it starred, um, Rob Estes, who at the time was, um, on the uh, USA Network show, Silk Stockings. Um, and that movie, actually, he co-starred with Pamela Anderson uh, in that show, or in that film, in 1994. So now that brings us to 1997. And uh, the 90s were just, they were loaded with syndicated shows. The syndication market uh, was just loaded. And it, I, I always saw it as a place for the escapist um, action-adventure detective shows of the 80s. They weren't popular anymore as far as uh, network primetime went. Network TV had become very, uh, 
uh, serious and gritty. And these type of shows were just not shows that they were interested in. And, you know, they had moved on. And so a lot of the shows that I had grown up loving and watching in the 80s, those types of shows were now uh, being found um, in the syndication market and on cable, like basic cable, like the USA Network. And so, um, uh, again, we have Stacey Keach, um, who, who comes back. And this show, of course, was tailor-made for that syndication market because we were getting basically a continuation of the 1980s My Camera. So, of course, it would be a show that wound up in syndication. Now, it ran for uh, one season, 1997, 98, just like it says there on the cover, and uh, co-starred Shannon Worry, one of my favorites <laughs> of uh, B-movies and horror movies. And uh, Shane Conrad, Kent Williams, and Peter Jason uh, were the co-stars um, in that. So, now before I unshrink wrap Film Chest's release, um, this version of my camera, I wish the 80s version would get a physical media release. It has never had a physical media release. Uh, as far as I know, um, if, it, if there is one out there, let me know. But uh, as far as I know, only this version um, as far as the TV series have gotten released. Well, the 1958 series with uh, Darren McGavin is also on physical media. Um, but this particular one um, did get a release back in 2005, which, and this is one of the, this is the original release right here um, from Tango Entertainment, 2005. Now this was back in the, um, like the golden age of TV on DVD. And so this was great to have for its time. And um, one of the issues with this was a lot of earlier uh, TV on DVD sets had these double-sided discs. So it was kind of like a, you know, like your old records. You, you had uh, information on one side and information on the other side, and they were prone to uh, fits in your DVD player sometimes. And, and um, often there was a lot of complaints that they just didn't... Uh, uh, they didn't play, you know, and so there was a lot of issues. I don't recall having issues with my set back in the day. It's been a while since I watched this. Who knows now? But the good news is that Film Chest Media has brought it back into print. So let's take it out of this thing and take a look. Okay, first of all, it's going to save some shelf space because you can see the difference in size from the old set to this new set thinner, which I like. Okay. And uh, let's get the old shrink wrap remover tool out. Let's see if I can get the shrink wrap off so we can take a look at the innards of this Mike Spillane's Mike Hammer Private Eye 1997 and 98. Film Chest, um, their releases are, are, they're very nice. I mean, you can feel the, what's it called? Embossed, you know, you got the embossed uh, lettering there on the front. There's a nice write-up on the back with the uh, general information about the, the series. Let's take it out of the slip case. This is in a slip case. I do not know if like if you order it on Amazon, I don't know if they all come with slip cases. Mine came with a slip case uh, directly from Film Chest. Um, however, if you, yours doesn't come with a slip case, the front and back are the same. So, okay, let's open it up. Now this is nice. A little insert with synopsis and some screen grabs from the episodes. Super nice touch, especially in today's market where TV on DVD, TV on disc is kind of such an afterthought. I mean, I'm thrilled when we get like a mod manufacturer on demand burned disc release of some of these old TV shows because I just figure it's either that or you're not going to get it with a lot of, especially these old shows. You know, the market's just not big at all. And uh, here are the discs. Really nice looking set. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five disc set. Five disc set. And these, of course, as you can see, are not double-sided discs. So that is exciting. Uh, 
20, uh, all 26 episodes um, in their original four by three aspect ratio. So um, there's also some trivia in there. Episode synopsis and trivia. So I'm gonna put that back in the case so I can try to put it back together. Put it back in the slip case. And there you have it, folks. It is Mickey Spillane's Mike Hammer Private Eye, the revival series that aired in syndication 1997 and 98. I was in college, and uh, it's just great that this continues to be um, on physical media so that if you have not picked it up and uh, those old sets are long out of print, as far as I know, now you can pick this up, and it's really affordable. Uh, last I looked, it was like... $14.99 or something um, on Amazon. Um, I'll put a link in the description. And uh, uh, yeah, you can add this to your collection um, and have 1,126 minutes of entertainment for pretty cheap in a nice package. So thank you for uh, to, thank you to uh, Film Chest Media uh, for the, uh, the disc set. And thank you for checking out this video. I'll be back soon with some more uh, haul videos and reviews and unboxings. I'll see you then.